Don't forget, Tariq, some of us are only doing this because we have to. Wait, so you think I'm here because I'm winning? How's that gonna help you, Remage? Tate's dirty as fuck. It's the right kind of dirty, though. It's a fucking no, mistake. A fucking mistake? Yeah, it was. I fucked up. I fucking own you! In my last video, I stated how Lorenzo's desperation to get some answers for Monet would lead him to make some decisions by hiring someone to jump Drew so that he can conclude he is the same person who killed Zeke. I also stated that Kane will be the one to find out Lorenzo is the one who shot Zeke. And I stated that if Kane is smart, he will play Lorenzo's mind to confess to him, which he eventually did in this new episode. I also mentioned that the pilot saw Lorenzo's head and therefore he can give a vivid description of him. If you haven't watched that breakdown yet, I'll leave the link in the description below for you to check out after this video. What's up, Power fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino and I'm back with another Power video, which is episode 2 of season 3, Ghost. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about the new app FA is building to move weight at Stansfield, Braden setting up to rig multiple times, Lauren and Jenny, Lorenzo and Diana's moves going forward and other happenings in episode 2. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, in episode 2, we've seen Efe building another app similar to Cost Correct, where we see her coding Cost Perfect. Now, I was shocked when she rebranded the app as Cost Perfect, something that sounds similar to Cost Correct. Trust me, if she were to share that app as Cost Perfect, the school authorities wouldn't take a minute to connect the dots that it's the same Cost Correct. And I believe anything starting with cost as an app will only remind people of the famous cost correct, thereby bringing attention to the app. Now, what is the way forward? They need a different name that will not look suspicious. And this time, I feel they need to make the details and features of the app like an online shop or something. So instead of cost perfect, which can potentially raise suspicion, they have a new name called no cap or frap. Now, what is a frap? What is the meaning of frap? The frap means the ferric reducing ability of plasma. It's as a measure of antioxidant power. Something that has to do with, uh, what's the name? Analytic biochemistry. Frap can also mean ferric ion reducing antioxidant power. Now, frap was originally developed as a method to steady protein mobility in living cells and has since grown to become a popular technique for investigating molecular transport events such as diffusion, protein dynamics, or interactions between cellular components. So basically, that is frap. Now, with this new name, I believe it will take some time for people to relate it to cook. And I believe it's a way to throw people's mind off since no one will really investigate frap. Now, let me know what you also think in the comment section about this rebranding of course correct. Now, as this episode is named Need and Greed, everyone seems to go greedy because of their needs. Now, still on Efe, we see Efe here adding Inositol to her product before distributing. Now, what is Inositol? Inositol is a type of sugar that is similar to glucose that helps make cell membranes and regulate insulin levels. Inositol may particularly be beneficial for people with certain conditions such as panic disorder, bipolar disorder, PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, gestational diabetes, etc. So clearly, what Efe is doing here is going greedy by making the product useful and helpful for everyone, no matter your condition. I said greedy because she wants to hit every individual market and on top of that, the quantity increases and therefore, Efe makes extra money for herself than everyone else. So I won't be surprised if that extra money is what she's keeping under her bed here till probably Diana discovers. Now, this is my theory about Efe with regards to the title of the episode, Need vs. Greed. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about Efe. Now, let's talk about Braden setting Tariq up under the same need and greed. Thinking that Tate just decided to replace Tariq with Brashandra, not knowing Braden made that happen so that Tariq will have nowhere to do his internship other than his family holdings. What does Tate need at the moment? Money, financial donations. So Tate went greedy with Tariq over his personal needs that he got from Braden. That is why Braden was telling Tate to keep their little secret from Tariq. You can never tell Tariq about this. In exchange for the Western name to my list of donors, no need to worry. Take it to the grave. 
But we know Tate, he only uses people when it's convenient for him. Now, to the second setup. When Terry started working at Western Holdings, Braden wanted him to see how frequently workers there were using drugs like water. But Braden didn't want Terry to think he was still making him see things from his point of view about selling Norma's weight at the workplace. So when Braden saw these guys going to the conference room ahead of the meeting time, he knew they were going to use some drugs before the meeting starts. But then he wanted Tariq to see for himself that the company is a potential market to sell the drugs. So what did Braden do? He asked Kiki to make Tariq prepare the place for the meeting so that he can see what's going on in the company and how freely workers are using drugs in there without fear. Afterwards, Braden now briefed Tariq more on how they get the drugs but the plug is unknown to the users. Now the plan is in motion. Nobody knows the person selling the drug, so if Nick's pipeline is eliminated, they can become the new distro in the building without anyone noticing them. So they took Nick out thanks to Drew instead of Kane, and they now share a new card with a new brand name called Weightlift, saying that they have a new trainer and all protein powder now available, with similar first free session the same way Nick does it. Now, this is a smart move by Braden and Tariq, but from where I sit, this will become a problem in the long term. Nick definitely had a connect to his product and since he's dead, I believe the connect would like to work through a replacement. And you know, in power, you kill a distributor, you inherit his connect and all the problem associated with that connect. Now, the taking over by Tariq and Brady will raise some suspicion to the connect because his product is not on distribution there because of Nick's death, but yet people are still getting access to drugs. Time will not allow, but I'll do a different video on how Terry and Brady will land in trouble with Nick's connect if they start moving Norma's weight at Western Holdings. You can also leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's explore more clues on this topic. Now, let me touch on Lorenzo a little quick. I feel for him under the circumstances knowing that he didn't know he was shooting Zeke. This caused him to make wrong decision and he ended up in Kane's pocket. Now, Lorenzo in this episode 2 further revealed the main reason he went after Maker. If you notice, he nearly slipped when he was talking to Kane but quickly corrected himself. Now, when Diana told him what she saw in Maker's bag and Monet wasn't coming back, he thought Monet was going with Mecca. That's why he went there. Now, if you you pay close attention to him here as he was explaining to Kane, he was going to say, I thought your mother, then he quickly changed it to Mecca. I thought your mother was... So clearly, Lorenzo was also there to make sure Monet doesn't change her mind to live with Mecca. Now, moving forward, Lorenzo needs to find a good reason for his change of mind on selling Norman's drugs because he was very clear of not wanting to have anything to do with Mecca or someone close to Mecca. And now that Kane has him in his pocket, the rest of the family will be wondering what changed. I also have a feeling Kane is going to misuse his authority over his father in front of everyone, thereby raising suspicions to why Lorenzo is suddenly taking orders from Kane. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now let's touch on Lauren. Look, I need to see my parents. Or a phone call. Jenny, seriously, anything, please. Now, Lauren is beginning to show signs of frustration living without internet and in the room for over three months now. It is only fair to say that her life cycle has changed drastically. This, I believe, will be the reason she will attempt to sneak out one night as seen in the second trailer here. And this is possibly the reason why she was holding this cutter in her hand. Now, looking at the situation, it will take quite a long time for Jenny to build a case against Ify since there are no witnesses to what she did to Lauren apart from Brady. It is more or less there is no evidence to what happened to Lauren that can implicate Ify, so Jenny will really find it difficult to nail something on Ify unless Brady changed the narrative against Ify. And they can't also prove that Tariq plotted to kill Lauren using his friends. Now, what I see Jenny doing is to get into Lauren's head with the theory of Tariq planning to kill her without any trace back to him using his friends. Now, let's talk Diana. Now, we all remember when Ify was talking Diana out with regards to Tariq, right? Now, seeing them both on campus looks directly opposite to what Ify was trying to communicate to Diana. Now, I feel Diana is beginning to think of what most of us have been thinking as audience, which is the fact that no one actually knows who Ife really is and what her background is. And for Ife to be able to even afford all these expensive books, even though they are all from drug hustling background, 
Diana thinks something isn't right about Ify. And I won't be surprised if Diana went snoozing in Ify's room, raised her bed to discover hidden cash under her bed. Same thing she did with Monet to discover Zeke's real birth date. Now, let me know what you all think about these topics from the app creation, Diana, everything in episode 2. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share, like, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's discuss this episode too. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.